Hi, my name is Jamie Schumacher. I'm the host of Ultra Unscripted. With me today, I have Jill Cormier, who is the leader of the HERO program here at Ultra. Kind of in a nutshell, what is the HERO program? The HERO program is Altru's internal program um, that screens the uninsured and underinsured patients for any potential payer sources that would help them alleviate any financial burden from medical bills. Awesome. So when you're talking people who are talking about people who are underinsured or uninsured, and then you talk about trying to find a payer source. So like you said, is it trying to find insurance through the marketplace? Is it um, a federally fun funded program? So would that be a program like Medicaid or what may be some of those other payer source programs? We screen for all different programs. Um, we first try to screen them for government programs like Medicaid. Um, we also try to screen them then for programs through the marketplace where they can purchase um, insurance through the exchange. And then after that, we look at internal programs, whether that's a charity program or a community care program. Um, so we screen them for all programs that they may be eligible for. We also screen for programs that um, don't have anything to do with medical bills, but they might be struggling, whether they are struggling to pay for their rent or daycare or even to put food on their table. And I know you spoke about people being underinsured. So we know what uninsured people are, but underinsured, can you explain what that means? Sure, underinsured are um, the individuals who may have um, insurance as a primary source, but are still left with a portion to pay that they still cannot pay. Can you just kind of talk through the process for when someone becomes um, maybe referred to the HERO program and who makes that referral? Sure. Um, once a patient makes contact with one of our certified application counselors, um, a partnership develops. That is the most important thing because we want the patient to be engaged. We want the patient to be um, involved in every decision, but we know that those decisions can be difficult and we want them to be educated. Um, many times what we'll do is we'll sit down and visit and we'll talk about what are their needs. Um, what are they struggling with? Um, sometimes it's not just the medical bills, sometimes it's other things. And we want to make sure that we are treating the patients as a whole. We don't want to just treat one thing and leave other things left undone. We don't want to um, say, okay, we're, we're going to help pay your medical bills, but you can't put food on the table and then they end up back in that vicious cycle. Um, so what we'll do is we will go through the different um, programs that we know of and we will select the ones that we feel might be beneficial to them and let them select the ones they, they want to apply for. Um, once we know what they want to apply for, we'll help them fill out the application, we'll help them submit it, we'll help them collect all the documents, um, and we'll follow the, that application all the way till the end. And that might include um, some follow-up, it might even include a denial, um, and we'll even do an appeal should they get denied. Um, and that also includes every year if they need to re-enroll, we'll also do the enrollment with them. We'll keep them up to date, um, we'll help them understand their benefits because that can even be difficult. Just because you're approved, you might not know what you're approved for. So again, it's that partnership. Um, it's doing it with them, not doing it for them, so that they can also take pride in having that program. That's really impressive. That sounds like just a full um, 360 approach to helping care for that patient. Um, it also sounds like you're removing a lot of the barriers that can get in a person's way. I mean, if they, if they would qualify, but they feel overwhelmed by the application process, that sounds really neat. Are there any statistics that you can share with us about the type of impact that the HERO program is having on our patients? In the year 2020, the year of COVID, um, we were able to uh, make contact and meet with 2,131 patients. Um, we were able to save those patients from receiving $27.5 million worth of medical bills. Um, those are bills that they would have actually received, self-pay. Um, out of that $27.5 million, um, Altru received $9.6 million worth of payments. 
Um, even more impressive in 2021, when COVID was up and down, we were able to meet with 2,675 patients, um, which was around $37.9 million of gross um, charges, which again, would have been billed to the patients, um, which um, equated to around $11 million of payments to Altru. Impressive. Kudos to you and your team, Jill. That's really neat. Um, what do you hear from patients? Um, what have they said to you? What's the impact on their lives because of this HERO program? We receive a lot of positive feedback from our patients. A lot of patients will ask us, why haven't we heard from you? Um, where have you been? And um, just making that connection. So we have heard a lot of positive feedback about the HERO program, and that's why we continue to do what we do. That is really powerful. It's showing how um, it's people who might not have been receiving the care that they needed um, had you guys not been there for them. So um, what makes your job worth it, Jill? What makes it worth it to walk in the doors each day and do the work that you do? Knowing every day that I get to come to work and make a difference, um, that I can come to work and help people, um, knowing that I get to um, take care of somebody's financial health, um, knowing that once they get the health care that they need, that it is um, enriching, you know, their life. And really that's, you know, the, the mission of all true.